I'm showing from Totally 12 volt. Now it's been a while since I've been in front of a camera, but I've got a canopy here that's worth talking about. So we've been given this canopy, which is a full-size canopy with a built-in rooftop tent. And the brief was to give them the complete management system, including the lighting, the batteries, the solar, and the works. The Enerdrive mains charger, which is also a 40 amp charger. And we've coupled it all up with the Sime Marine battery monitoring system. Now the Sime Marine battery monitoring system will take care of monitoring not only the batteries, but everything else around the canopy. So including water tanks, shock temperatures, what's coming in from the solar, what's coming in from all the chargers. So you've got your complete management system. The, what's powering up the whole system is the, the Safari 125 amp hour batteries parallel together. So we're, we've got 125 times two, so 250 amp hours of lithium power. And it's all taken care of and managed by the Sci Marine battery monitoring system. Sci Marine shunt systems. Now these are a, what they call a quad shunt system. So these systems can monitor individual circuits, what's coming in and out. So what I've got this one set up to do is, is two fridges. So we can monitor each fridge usage. We can see what our solar panel and our DC to DC charger is, is bringing into the system. We can see what our mains charger is bringing in. And we can see our overall current draw from all the electrical in the, the complete system. Not only that does it looks after your, your actual 12 volt side of things, it actually looks after your sensing side, type of things as well. So you've got your water tank sensor underneath, which these look after. We've got our shock absorber temperatures as well. And we've course also got which is a bit of a bonus which everybody would love is fridge temperatures. So we can actually see at any given time the fridge temperatures from both fridges in this setup. Not only does it monitor everything that's going on by the screen that's on the other side in the kitchen area, it actually will tell you everything on your phone via the app. So at any given time in the driver's seat you can see what your shockies are, are at, your temperature wise, and you can see what your fridges are doing in the back here. These monitors are absolutely brilliant. So from monitoring your shock temperature sensors to your water tank to what everything's using, fridge temperatures, you name it. So starting with the sleep screen, this is the screen that generally you'll see when you walk up to the monitor. Now if we press the down screen here, we'll see what everything's using. So we've set up, we've custom programmed this particular vehicle. So we can see the overall usage of everything, so what the, the sockets are using, your lighting, etc, etc. We've also broken it down so the customer can see what the upright fridge is using at any given moment and the angle fridge. And we can also see the inputs here too, so your DCC charger and the solar, which is obviously looking at the DCC charger is looking after the solar as well. So it's telling me at the moment that uh, the, the solar is putting in 3.5 amps. So up on the roof we've got a 180 watt solar panel. And the mains charger, we haven't got it plugged in, so it's reading, it's actually reading 0, .0 but that's just a fluctuation in the system. And if we were to hit down again, we can just see a bit of a, bit of a clearer image of what's going in and going out. Again, we hit our, our tank. So we're actually one of the first companies in Australia to be fitting these tank monitors, tank sensors, to a setup like this in a four wheel drive situation. So at the moment, the tank's empty, so we're seeing around about four litres. Now we're on to our temperature screen. So the temperature screen is showing our temperatures of the angle fridge, the upright Dometic, and both our shock absorbers. So keeping in mind too that we can actually see this in the cab while the passenger, while the driver is driving along and they can know that their fridges and their, their beer and everything in the fridges are nice and crispy cold and the shocks are not gonna over, overheat and cause issues. Now onto something a little bit fancy called the roll and hitch. So this is great in a scenario where you've got a rooftop tent. Now we want to try and get our vehicle as level as we can so we can sleep nice and cosy and not roll to the partner or roll, roll out of bed. So we can actually see if we, our roll and pitch is good. Uh, again we can, we can set this up in the car so we're seeing around our app. So you're just driving into a spot and hey we're all ready to go and pop up the rooftop tent. So this is a cool little feature that all the 12 volt gurus would love to know about. Now this is called the coolant counter. This shows us what's going on with our system. So in the time that it's been at our workshop here, this is what it's been using. So the upright fridge is 
been using 31.64 amp hours in the time that it's been set up and the angle fridge has used 13.33 amp hours so that just tells you how more efficient the angle is compared to the upright it also will show us the overall input from the solar and DC DC charger which has been about 60 amps since it's been running in our workshop So thanks for checking out this epic build. If you'd like to find out what Total 12 Volt can do for you, check us out on the socials or visit www.total12volt.com. Thanks.